a trip around the campus of Ladukia Kinsella University of Technology in Ubumosho, your state, does not indicate any form of academic activity. The lecture rooms are even more lonely as only a handful of students were seen charting. Those who spoke to Channel's television appealed to government to find a lasting solution to the crisis rocking the school. Let them pay the lecturers. They are human beings. They need money too. They have families. They have kids. We are just begging Governor Ajumabi and Arab Bashola to settle with Asu amicably. The image maker of the institution attributed the low turnout to the fact that a campus is non-residential. He also expressed confidence that since the government had demonstrated good faith with the money paid to offset two months' salaries, the union and management would hold up the rent of the bargain. It was part of the agreement that after the payment of two months' salary, the union leaders who call their members, brief them towards resumption. And that is what we're doing. It's in fulfillment of that agreement that we have resumed today. And the chairman of the academic staff the union of universities, Lautech chapter, however, does not share that optimism as he insists that his members will not resume duties until a concrete arrangement is made to offset the over 7 billion naira that is outstanding. And if you look at the, the, the state or the status of the debt of the government to the university, is to the tune of 7.6 billion. The academic staff, they are resolute. Crisis. The reports reaching us is that state of Ocean is owing over 5 billion naira. Third, we're waiting for the reports of the committee being set up by the two owner states. As the students eagerly await for resumption on Monday, the Academic Staff Union of University insists on a clear signal from the two owner states on how they would defray the outstanding over 7 billion naira and the sustenance of funding for the school forthwith. In part two after the break, suspended Speaker of the Ondo State House of Assembly condemns action by her colleagues as new Speaker promises era of transparency. Stay with us.